Hi friends and welcome to my channel. So today we are continuing with the series. So they're gonna be the last part of this with the uh, setup of the car because we stopped in the middle because that was a long video. So we wanna continue also explaining every step of how to set up this uh, car. So we have almost everything. So the last thing we wanna do, like I said, uh, added the last setup and also be able to drive the car and break everything like that. So let's do that. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is uh, we uh, already put in the mesh the animation blueprint. But if we drive the car right now where it is, you want to play with this like a static mesh. You, you don't want to play like that. You want to be feel like it's a real uh, car. So if you turn to the left, they are uh, bent over a little bit to the left. If you go to the right, they're going to be bent over a little bit to the right. So to feel that way, you need physics. So we change in the last video also, but we not activate. So we have to activate it. So select the mesh, go all the way where they say physic. You want to say simulate physic. You want to activate this. So now they're going to feel how the physic is working. So the other thing we want to add is the camera. So uh, we're going to need first a spring arm, because if you don't use a spring arm, you have a camera right here. For example, if it's a wall here, the camera, they want to go through the wall. You can see through the wall. You don't want to do that. So the spring arm, they what they does is that if you have a camera attached to the spring arm, so if it's a wall or a physical body, they want to hit the body if they don't move through there. So they want to see if it's a wall here, the camera right here, they want to move in front of the wall. So you're never going to see um, behind the wall. So that is the best. So let's add it that. So select the mesh because we want to be attached to the spring arm. So let's spread. Um, no, no, add, it. add here. Let's put spring arm. Gonna attach it here. Uh, and also for the spring arm, we want to attach the camera. So let's um, add the camera. They're gonna be the first one, not the other one. So let's add it that one. So. In, uh, you can play with the camera if you want, but it's better to play with the spring arm because if you want to move the camera later on inside the car, anything like that, uh, you don't want to mess with this uh, uh, relative location. So it's better to play with the spring arm. So the first thing is too close, so it's going to be more uh, far away, so maybe like 500. I think it's fine for now. And also, I'm going to rotate this a little bit, probably 35, 30. I think 25 is fine, but probably 500 is too much. That's too too slow. Let's put like uh, 700 maybe for now. Yeah, let's put 700. We can play this later on. And also, uh, if you want to modify the camera, the only I'm gonna do is the rotation because I don't want to be that much. I don't want to be several also. So probably like 10. I think it's fine for now. Let's see, but you, we need to remember we have uh, 15 uh, in rotation, so yeah. But for the for me, this is gonna be fine. So yeah, I wanna leave it like that. I think it's fine. Okay, so now we have the camera and we have the physics. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is set up the wheels. So let's go to the uh, where here be uh, vehicle movement component. Let's add it here and let's go with the set wheels. Um, where it is. Uh, I think it's more up. Yeah, let's see here. We're set up, so we have it here. So we have suspension enabled, that's fine. We're fixation enabled, that's fine. So this we don't need anymore because that's almost gone, probably soon. So we need to go here, wheel set up. So we have four wheels, so we want to activate these four. If you have more, then you can do more. If you have less, you have less. So it's gonna be four. So we want to be one, two, three, and four. So now we need to be able to select what is what. So let's open all this stuff so it's more easy to follow uh, that way. Okay, so now we need to add it the uh, select each wheel with, uh, where we want it. So in this case, this is gonna be the front. So let's, well, you can do the order you want, but it's more easy to understand to start from the left to right or the right to left, wherever you like, from the front to the back. But that is your choice. In my case, I'm gonna go to the left, like right, like if I reading, and also go to front to the back. Okay. So the first one I'm gonna, gonna be, I'm gonna select is the bomb name from the left uh, front. 
so I don't know the name of the bond so I want to go is go to the mess of the vehicle let's find the the mess I also find the skeleton so because I don't make the skeleton so I don't know the names so we have in here so I believe this is gonna be the front left yes so we want to select this name so the way I want to do is copy select copy selected bond names I'm going to paste it right here. I want to do for all of them. So they want to be the right one. So let's go to the right. So I want to copy it because I'm very bad writing. Uh, so let's put it in here. Yes, left, right. So now in the back. So we want to get the left first. Copy, paste. And the last one, finally, uh, this one. So copy. I don't want to stop the videos because I want to show every step without uh, editing and nothing. So compile and save. So now we select all the bones, but now we need to put our wheels because this is the normal wheel we have on real already, but we create our own. So we want to paste it right here. So let's select the wheel. So we have it in GTA, car system, wheels. So we have the back and front. So we want to use the front from the front, the back from the back. That's easy to explain. So let's put it here, the front, here, the front. And in the other one, they're going to be the back. So we want to be select and select. There we go. So compound save. If you're not doing this right, you're going to go wrong the car because you need to be able to the front of the uh, bones, be able to turn in the back, they don't. So yeah. So yeah, so there is from the wheels. Okay, so the next is probably the last part in this inside the blueprint, they're gonna be the setup of the engine. So in this case, we wanna select a still the big moving component. So we don't need the wheel setup anymore. So we need to go to mechanical uh, setup. So this is supposed to be activate, the mechanic is in enabled, but sometimes, I don't know why, sometimes it's disconnected. So be careful with this. So this, this has to be activated all the time because that's the mean they enable the mechanic. So, okay, so now we wanna you go to the engine and we want to select the what we have. So open this torque curve, you wanna select the R we created. So I think if we go here, yeah, we can get here, DP torque. So we have this for uh, from the last video, remember? So this is my torque. So this gonna change in each card in each car so we want to change that and also we can play with this stuff so right now i'm gonna leave it like default because i don't really matter right now because this is the parent remember so we want to be a child from this also later on in this area i want to show you how to do differential setup and also transmission if you want to do that so okay so now we have this so let's compile and save so the next we're gonna need is activate the input to be able to drive this car. Okay, um, first I want to say I'm sorry, I have a, a really bad cough today. Um, so that's why this video is split in, in a few parts because I really have a very bad, bad cough today. Also, I have to stop the video just right here to uh, take my me medicine and everything because I think I feel a little sick. But I have to make this video today because if not, I'm gonna be maybe never doing it. So I don't want to prolong or uh, more this tutorial so that's why I make it anyway so I'm sorry for that but let's continue so yeah so we have everything um, set up so let's do the inputs so for the input uh, like I said in the last video we can use some stuff from the um, we already have in the CD sample so so that way we can save a lot of time to make the input because the input is really easy to make so let, let's do that so let's go to content uh, let's go uh, actually let's go GTA go to uh, car system sorry uh, BP bike and uh, we have it right here we can copy this stuff and uh, not everything just the the more important one for example the uh, toggle brake and handle also the steering <laughs> probably the best more important thing uh, also, we can copy this because we need the input. I don't want to use this uh, reference, so let's just co just copy this. And this is fine because when we want to possess this car, we want to be able to uh, make this stuff. So let's copy and paste it right here. 
uh, in the event graph. We can delete all this. We don't need it. Uh, let's paste it. So, so at this time we don't want to use tick notes the minimum possible. So that's why it's better. So okay, we have pasted here. So we need to put the mapping in here. So get back here. Select uh, this one. So let's find it and uh, let's paste it right here. And the second one is this one. So let's paste it right. What? Oh, it's <laughs> wrong blueprint. So paste it here. So let's do it like that. Uh, everything look correct. So let's take this. Just clean this a little bit. Uh, probably this better like here. Okay, we can leave it like this. Yeah, that thing is fine. So okay, so now we can compile and save. So let's test it out. But first. I said we don't have the behavior to enter the enter anymore in the car because that was in the other blueprint. So we want to for now in the game mode we want to change to to this one. Default point class, we want to change this one to the vehicle we're using. So they're gonna be DP no SP DP um cow chaos vehicle. That's for now, like I said, chaos. Um that's for now, but later we want to a able to enter and exit again. So yeah, so because we need to do this, uh, do it again to our own system. So let's test it out. So let's save everything and uh, let's get play. So let, let get my gamepad. Let's go play. Uh, let's go travel. Wait, let's go travel. They don't do nothing at all. Okay, so something's wrong. So let's see what happened. Normally, when this stuff is well, it's, it's not this blueprint. Okay, so this one. Okay, so normally when they don't work, uh, probably because this is no call. So let's see if it's gonna go. So let's gonna print here. If it does, so that means it's working. So let's go play. Actually, it's working, but it's not moving the car. Okay, so, so if it's working, so that means there's not a problem with the input. So what is next? And that's gonna be the controller is no problem because like I said, input's working. So the next thing they're gonna check is probably the uh, physics because that's always a mess sometimes. And um, probably this mesh is not really able. Uh, this fixes for, um, this fixes, oh my God, my English sometimes. Okay, this physics from this mesh is no maybe correct. So let's see. So let's find the physics. Well, they're supposed to be here, right? right here so probably something wrong um, I see a text I, I deleted um, yes I deleted so fine so let's see the um, this here uh, yeah I don't want to stop the video because I want to show you also how to deal with these issues um, so I see the issue right away the probably this is not correct so first we want to make the car body we don't want to be a sphere so let's change this to a single convert hacks hog so that way they can share better the the assets or re generate bodies actually i have to stop the video because they crashed my engine doing that <laughs> so we have to do it probably something wrong with these uh, physical assets so let's do the opposite or maybe don't crash my engine again so let's select all these wheels uh, well one way one let's select this one let's change this to sphere so let's do regular body so now it's a, a sphere let's do here let's do a spheres it's already sphere so it's fine somebody don't originate this so probably that the problem so on this one there's gonna be um sphere too so regular body this wheel let's do the same it's a sphere regenerate body so now i hope this time there's no crash my engine so <laughs> let's hope so let's select this one uh, let's go to sphere to single convert class with about engine there you go finally no crash my engine so now it's uh, for uh, look better for the car and also we want to change the behavior only for the wheels remember for this wheel we want to change uh, a little bit here so we want to change the physics because we want to use fix it for this car and uh, we can use kinematic or we can do um, the uh, simulated in this case it doesn't matter right now but you can see the difference they don't follow the owner 
but this one they 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 don't follow no, but they simulate this don't follow no, but make kinematic so i prefer simulate because it's more easy to uh for me but you can use both if you want or whatever you want you can use this one or this one it doesn't matter really but for me i'm gonna use simulate so let's save it so let's test it i hope now they're supposed to uh, run the car so let's test let's go play so now you can see this working but my camera they messed up so probably because it's inside this building so let's go out of the building so let's go play i still doing it so probably is my uh, spring arm so let's see what happened here spring arm let's go more uh, up probably or maybe it's hitting this actually so let's put it right here yes yes let, let's see probably that is the problem so compound safe because they hit this simulate body also they go play there you go so now you can see they have fixes so if i drive it now it is working so that was the problem that was the physics for this asset that is really bad so they drive a little weird so we need to um, modify this later but now finally <laughs> oh my god so now finally it's working so probably they work better with kinematic let's let's test it so let's go back here select the work four wheels and let's try kinematic this time so let's save it let's see um i don't know there's no different at all so it's the same the bad <laughs> so yeah probably when i leave it kinematic oh my god yeah, so we want to uh, fix this behavior of this car, but like I said, it doesn't matter right now because it's the main one, right? So, so yeah. So now finally we we able to drive this car. So in the next video we're gonna continue with the car to put it back when we have it before, and also to improve all this stuff. Like oh yeah, the same. So yeah, I'm gonna put it back to simulate it uh, when I stop the video. Because I like more simulated really so okay so yeah so in the next video we want to continue with the cars probably to make it this better to have the best behavior we have and make the child from each car have different behaviors and things like that so that's the end of the video so if you want to support me you can go to my coffee page and you can you can donate just one dollar if you want or you can be a member if you're a member you're gonna have exclusive stuff for example watch this video before i publish or have the download the project file from these tutorials also you are um, from the gta also so yeah so also you are um, supporting my youtube channel and also my game i'm creating right now land of silent so i have a demo so you can download for free from the steam page i want to put it in the comment below so check it out uh, also so you want to talk with me um, i want to be in the discord so just follow me there uh, you can talk with me about the unreal or whatever you like i really like to talk with you guys so so yeah so thank you for watching and see you in the next video so bye bye